Hello again. After I showed you how I added MIDI functionality to Pete McBennett's synthesizer design in the last video, I would like to show you the progress the project made since then. Well, I haven't worked on polyphony yet, but I finally finished building the voltage controlled filter that complements the synthesizer and mounted everything into the case. The filter features controls for resonance, cutoff, attack and decay, as well as for output volume and the weight of the auto trigger, which can be turned on or off using the switch right next to the weight knob. In addition to that, I added a switch that allows to bypass the filter circuit when not needed and a power switch plus a status LED. So it's basically the same filter Pete McBennett has been showing in his videos. All connectors are on the backside. A standard guitar pedal style power connector for 9V, a 3 quarter inch jack for audio output and a regular type B USB socket for the MIDI connection. The inside is fairly straightforward as well. There's the Arduino Nano alongside the Arduino Pro Micro, which is connected to the USB socket using a piece of an old USB cable. And there's obviously the main filter circuit. I have to mention that I did run into a massive problem with this filter. As it turns out, black heat shrink tubing is not necessarily light proof, which is why I spent almost two weeks trying to fix the filter, not realizing that it was working correctly, but behaving strangely due to ambient light. As soon as I realized this, completely by accident of course, I simply put everything into the enclosure, relying on the inside of the box to be completely dark. However, the tiny SMD LEDs on the Arduino boards were bright enough to mess with the cutoff frequency of the filter, which is why I ended up desoldering them. Here's a quick test of the filter. And here's a quick example of the cool sounds you can get by running the synthesizer through guitar pedals. Stay tuned for more projects and please check out Pete McBannell's channel.